Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. We've had a bit of an update since I was last here, and the update was all about children and uh, wives and uh, basically just kids running around and getting better movement upgrades and things like that. So we will eventually get to that. We are currently courting a young lady over there somewhere through the rain. But before we get to anything like that, we're not going to worry about it today. Well, uh, probably not today. We're, we're, what we're going to do today is we're going to get our tractor. It's now started raining, and we have not yet encountered any rain in this game. I'm not sure if before I went over and I seen the young lady in question uh, whether or not I had checked the eggs. So first thing that we will do is we will check the eggs. If you look at the time at the moment, it is 12 minutes past 7. So we're quite early in the day. Uh... Okay, um, there are chickens actually in the nest boxes. This is new. We have we have new animations. We have we have upgrades. Upgrades have happened. Okay, there is another thing as well. Apparently, the grass that is growing around the yard and stuff. We can now cut this with the mower. This is going to allow us to cut it with the mower. How much we can do with it, I don't actually know. But we can cut it with the mower. And they've also changed the way that um, some of the other stuff works as well. So there's been all sorts of upgrades on here. Now we want to milk the cow. So we'll go through. And we're going to milk the cows. Just so we've got a little bit of extra milk. And then... I'm not really sure what else we're going to do. Oh, I know what it is. There's one very important thing that I want to do. And I was told that when it starts raining, you must not drive your tractor on the field or it will get stuck. So naturally, the only thing that I want to do right now is take my tractor and drive it on the field. So that's what we'll do. As soon as we finish milking the cows, we're going to get on our tractor, the old Jack Bear. And we're going to go racing off to the um, to a field. Not the fields that we've got planted just outside us. Uh, we've got a wheat field planted as well. We're not going to drive on that one. We have one other field that we decided not to worry about because, quite frankly, it was getting rather dull doing all that um, ourselves. So we will go to that field and we'll drive around on it until such time as we get stuck. Just just to see what would happen. See what it's like. It could be interesting and then again, it might not be. Um, I've been complaining about the lack of hired help on this game and it's something that bugs me personally a great deal. Apparently, according to some dev notes somewhere, I'm not quite sure where they are, uh, but um, hired help is something that they want to add into this game. It is something that they are planning to bring. Um, I'm just not quite sure when. I don't know when it's going to be, but it is something that they want to add into the game so that you're not forced to do everything yourself, which is absolutely fantastic. So we're not going to worry too much about um, minor details for the game at the moment. Now, I'm just looking around see how much food I've got. Oh, there we go. Uh, we've got 9% at the moment. That should be fine. That's plenty to keep us going with for a while. So, out in the rain, we do have this whole thing with the raindrops sitting on in front of us, which now makes it look like we're looking through a camera rather than through our eyeballs, because I'm not aware of at any point have I ever had raindrops on my eyeballs like that. You know, just... Uh, several raindrops and have them running down and, and sort of messing my vision like this so I'm not a fan of this kind of effect in any game I've never liked this kind of effect because I'm I'm looking through my eyeballs not through a screen and I, I really don't like that they, it it for me is ruining the immersion it's absolutely spoiling the immersion um, when it's doing this to me instead of just letting me use it normally anyway that bit aside, let's get up to the field up here and we will see if we can get ourselves stuck. Properly and thoroughly. Right, here is our field that we're not going to do anything with. We did some cultivating in here, but then we've given up. So we'll come into the field and we'll drive around a bit. This is the cultivated area. That's not really... We're not getting stuck on that. Um, and then the non-cultivated area. Maybe we need to wait a while. Let me, let me stop a minute. And then go again. Ooh. Maybe I need to sort of do this a few times. If I go backwards and forwards a bit, is that going to help me get stuck in? Uh, it does seem like it might be... I, I do actually seem to be digging in a little bit here. Yes, it's definitely... The, the ground is definitely going deeper now. And we, we've, we've got mud going on. Okay, I'm liking this. Look at that. I'm actually digging a hole into the ground. Um, 
That is very impressive. You know, we've got like a proper deformable terrain going on here. I mean, it won't stay as a permanent thing. It will, once you go away out of range of it, and then you come back so that it reloads, it won't be there still when you come back. But the way it's going at the moment, I'm definitely digging deeper and deeper into a hole here, and we could end up getting stuck properly. That's what I want. I want to get properly stuck. I don't think it's going to work, though. I think, you know, we're, it, it is looking good. But I don't think it's going to actually... I don't think we are actually going to get properly stuck. But there we go. There is our tractor has churned down into the mud a decent way. That is actually impressive that it's gone down a decent way like that. And it's not getting stuck. Let's drive around. We'll go once around the field. And we'll just see if he does actually get stuck somewhere else. Doesn't look like he's going to get stuck. It might be that I need to leave it to rain a little bit longer. I mean, there, there is a lot of sitting water on the field, but it might still be that it needs to rain a little bit longer. We'll go right around the edge of the field. I don't know if that's going to be far enough away that the um, the bit that's rendered where we were, were getting stuck will unload. We'll have to see when we come back round and see if it's changed the appearance of it or not. Could be interesting to find out. Uh, once we've done this, we will check for any jobs on the map. Um, I know that I was told, do some ploughing jobs. They can actually earn you a bit of cash, but I don't think I will. I'm not going to worry about ploughing jobs. Um, they're just going to take too long. So what I'll do is I will finish uh, this bit. Now, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. It's the big question. Do we still have the hole in the ground? It looks like it's actually filling up with water now. That is brilliant. Look, and it's, it is a proper hole in the ground. And it's like proper muddy as well. This is brilliant. All right, I'm going to just go backwards and forwards here a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do plowing quests. I think they're going to take too long. They're going to be too tedious. The whole building quests, doing all the building quests, those seem to work. Especially as there only seems to be one building quest to be done for each person. And then they ask you to do the same one again. And so you basically you're getting a new installment on the building quest. And you're getting a load of money. We've got a deep hole here but we don't have anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this jack bear in the deep hole. Like this. And I'm going to go away and I'm going to leave him. If I can get off the tractor. There we go. So we're off the tractor. So let's... Uh, first of all, we want to take a look in our food condition. We will eat a couple of eggs. Bring our food condition back up. There we go. And now if we go and take a look at the map. What have we got today? We want to go... Well, there's no quests up there. Uh, we've already been to see the young lady over there. And we've got no quests at all anywhere on the map. I wonder if that's because it's raining. You know, it could very well be. It could just be because it's raining. So we want to go over here. We'll jump onto that one. I can jump off again. Just like that. And I'm actually a long way from the tractor now. So it should have unloaded the whole screen, the whole area. And then it will reload again. Um, I would like to test the mower out around the yard. And see if it leaves grass behind. Or if it just, uh, like just cuts it and does basically the same as what the strimmer does. And just cuts a section and then puts it back. Um, it just... Uh, clears it but it doesn't leave anything on the ground it'd be quite interesting to find out if that happens the grass here is growing quite nicely it's going to be a little while though i am also wondering if we should grow some more stuff in our greenhouse because the greenhouse did actually seem to be successful and we were able to make a bit of money on this as well that was a, a good thing on there we, we you know what i think we will let's just close that one a minute uh the only problem is we want to go Oh, no, that's the building depot. I need to go to an agricultural supply store, not the general store. Uh, agricultural store, that one over there. So I'll need to take a bus over to the agricultural store, which means I want to run around this way. Um, let me first go back to the Jack Bear, because that should have unloaded. So now if we reload it again... Nope, it's still got a hole in the ground. The rest of it is unloaded, but the hole in the ground is still here. However, he's, he's not stuck yet still able to move around so we'll, we'll leave him there we'll come off of that and i'm going to go back over to the combine i'll jump off of this one we we'll run over to the bus oh there was another thing as well if we go over to the fire apparently sitting by the fire can actually increase our um our rest status at the moment we are on 84 for sleep so if i come over to here light the fire 
And then sit down. Sit on bench in the rain. It should increase. Yeah, there we go. Look, see the sleep condition is actually raising up. So it's 85 now. It's, it is slow. It is a slow process, but it is increasing it. So if you want to AFK for a bit, you could do that and that would work. Um, it doesn't seem to have increased it again. Food is on nine. Yeah, food's going down. Sleep's not though. All right, let's stand up. I'm, I'm bored with that now. Or maybe it does it only. Oh, hang on. No, the fire went out. Let's let's try that again. So yeah, it's on 86 on sleep now. So it has raised it up. Whether it no 87, 88. It is increasing it. It is increasing it. But now it's gone to there. I'm guessing the fire's gone out. Yes, that's what it is. So you sit down uh, in the warmth. The deer there. Uh, I seem to have eaten the deer. <laughs> okay, that was quick. Um, I was hungry. What can I say? Uh, yeah, so it seems to be only when the fire is lit does your um, your rest and everything increase. Now, I want to go to... I think it's... Is it that one? I think it's that one. It's the one with the agricultural store. We're going to buy some seedlings to put into the greenhouse. And then we will see. Uh, I was told that we skip winter. So we'll, we'll find out about the whole winter situation and what happens with that. So we press enter in here. I don't want any of these. More. That's what I want. There. Ah, there we go. Right, so we've got zucchini, tomato, and pumpkin seedlings. Three euros. Five euros for tomato, two euros for zucchini. Uh, 400 pieces. Good gravy. Right, well, let's try, buy let's try buying 100 pieces of each-ish. Uh, apparently it doesn't want to do 100, but it will do 99. So that's going to be 1,000 euros. We'll buy those, like that. And then we can head back home and we can go and plant all of these in the greenhouse. Like this. It's a bit off of you. Uh, still raining. So we're going to plant a load of these in the greenhouse. We're not going to do all the same. We will sort of vary them a bit. And we'll see how well they do and what kind of cash we get from them as well. Zucchini seem to be pretty good. They, they actually seem to be like they would... Um, there, use zucchini, use tomato, use pumpkin. So we'll, we'll do zucchini a minute. And... Right, I see. We just... Yeah, I remember now. We just go up through like this. So there's one table of zucchini. And that makes two tables of zucchini. How many tables have we got in here? Another... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I've done two tables already. So we got well, we got ten tables all together. So we'll do three of everything, and then we will do. Let me go onto here. Use storage. So we got the zucchini. Let's do the tomato. We'll do three tables of tomatoes. One, two, three. Let's just quickly put those down through there like that, and then we will do four tables of pumpkins and the reason that we're going to do four tables of pumpkins i should have done them the other way around a line of tomatoes a line of zucchini and then pumpkins over here that would have looked better i failed failed at the first hurdle um now the reason i want to do this is because we've got uh more pumpkins here down there um no we, we've already got uh, tomatoes and zucchinis but we don't have all oh, right if you just press and hold and then go sideways all the way up through it does it auto that's brilliant. Okay. Um, 78, 78, 71. Come out of there. Okay. Everything is planted in here. Comfort is perfect. Everything seems to be happy. Yeah, we've already got a load of tomatoes and a load of zucchinis, but we don't really have any pumpkins, so we'll do it like that. There we go. Close that one up. And there are no jobs today, I'm assuming because of the rain. I think the time has come for us to hit the hay. We need to go to bed. Uh, it's raining, so we don't really want to do anything with mowing. Not in the water, not in the rain. So if we go to bed, we'll have a nice, nice day's rest again. We're, we're going to try fast forwarding as much as we can. I'm just going to sleep one day rather than sleeping an entire week, and then after we've slept one day, we will go and check on the tractor, see what that one's done. We can also just go and. Why have I got boxes here? I don't remember the boxes. It's still raining. Apparently it's going to be sunny later. Let's um, get down off the balcony a slightly different way than normal. You are well rested and feeling strong again. It's going to be sunny later. At the moment it's still raining. Are the chickens still in here? 
Chickens are still in here and they're not there. Oh, I can pick up the eggs though. Just the chickens are sat on top of them. There we go. I can see the eggs there. Okay, so we can reach the eggs. You've just got to sort of go in underneath the chickens. And you've got to be careful doing this in real life because if the chicken is actually sitting on the eggs, it means she's gone broody and she wants to incubate the eggs. And she does get a little bit teasy with you when you try to take the eggs away from her. She will um, peck you and, and generally be quite unpleasant towards you, which is understandable because you're stealing her babies at that point And it's, you know, that's not really the, the polite thing to do. Uh, there is nobody around. So let's go to the jack bear. He's still not stuck. I wanted to get this tractor stuck. Why aren't we stuck? Do I need to go somewhere else to get stuck? I'm doing my best to get stuck here. And this this is absolutely... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting stuck at all, am I? Look at this. Um, okay, fine. He can stay there. Let me go over to this one. There, to the car. Now, where is... The beautiful young lady is up here. Oh, it stopped raining now. There should be a young lady over here somewhere. There she is. She's in love with us. You can see that by all the hearts. There, see? Look! Janet! Absolutely. Hello, Janet. Talk to me. No, no, Matthew, you go away. Amen to that. No, go away. Hi, Janet. Talk to me. Talk it's to me. True. Heard it on TV. You heard it on TV. Uh, I really hope you're not the sort to spend hours watching Hello TV. There, there we go. Good morning, friend. Hello. Uh, right. Here, I brought this for Here, you. I brought this for you. Uh, did we, do we have a gift? Oh, yes, we do. Uh, no, no, we don't. Oh, dear. Um, I have no gift. I could give her some strawberries, I suppose. I don't think that's good. We've already given her something to mask her stink, and we've given her some stuff to fatten her up a bit, and some jewellery, because she looked a bit plain. Um... I don't have anything to, to give you at the moment. Care to talk? This is not, not the way forward. Good morning, friend. We'll have to go and get you some more gifts. Uh, Did it hurt when you were falling from the sky? You're you a real charmer, aren't you? I'm sure you're supposed to follow that up with another line, and I've, I've yet to see what the other line is. Um, at least not Care in this game. Talk? Does Good she morning, have friend. an option to say, will you marry me? Did you hear the latest news? Something I can help you with. Let's try a second compliment. We don't normally no do that. flower is as beautiful as you are. Well, thank you. So nice of you. Oh, she seemed to like it. Okay, there's two compliments. We should go and buy her some more gifts. That's what we need to do. Buy her more gifts so that we can shower her. We can, we can buy her affections. This is what we're trying to do here. We are trying to buy Janet's affections. Um... Janet's affections so far have proved to be a little bit costly. Uh, we've we've got to go and buy more stuff to give her. Unless we could find a chest. If we could find a chest, we could just, you know, loot some items. Steal items from Elsa. We can pass on stolen goods to her. She would love that. I'm absolutely sure she would love it. What woman wouldn't like to be given stolen goods? It's um, It shows that, you know, we're, we're careful with the purse strings. We're not going to spend extravagantly when we don't need to and we're able to provide for her by you know stealing from other people maybe that's not the way forward perhaps um perhaps you shouldn't be listening to uncle frith uncle frith appears to be a bad influence today advising you to go and steal in order to um impress your young lady um so yes don't, don't listen to uncle frith he's he's talking nonsense let me just go up to it we've got some more mushrooms um I don't see anything else at the moment so let's go and speak to young henry here Get out, Henry. Good to see you. John. Can I help you? That's John. I thought it was Henry. It's not Henry. It's John. Um, right. Care to trade? If Care we can trade with him, we will buy a couple sure. of items that need? we can shower onto Janet. Uh, those rings are 300 apiece. We've already given her one of those rings. So we have to give her one of those rings. Have we got to give her one of everything? Is, is this what we got to do? So we, we're a tulip. There. Uh, a bouquet of roses. There. We've already given her one of those, and one of those, and some fancy chocolates. Okay, let's just try that. We'll try those, and we'll see what it does. Just come out of there. Bye, John. I'm oh, sorry. I've, I'm really sorry, dude. I thought you were called Henry, but no, apparently not. Right, now we want to go back over and visit Janet again. So we'll go over here. Janet! Where are you? I have nice things for you. I'm, I'm, you're over this way. I have nice things for you! 
Well, I have a nice thing for you. Hello, Janet. Put put the her away. There we go. We'll talk later. No, we'll talk now. See? Seriously? Aye. She takes a long time to stop. Good morning, friend. Right. Good morning, friend. And no, we've already given her two compliments today. We can't overdo it. So Here, I we'll give her a gift you. instead. Come on. And right, so a tulip. Casual gift for a woman. Perfect gift for a woman. Oh, I see. So you got casual gifts for women and perfect gifts for women. Let's go for the silver ring. That's so sweet. You are really nice. Really fond of you. I hope it's a bit more than fond. Right. I, I don't know how much stuff we're going to have to give her. This, this is getting expensive. You are a very expensive lady to keep. Um, and we, we're not even keeping her at the moment. She's, we, we're just trying to win her affections at the moment. It's getting expensive. Let's go back over to the tractor and see what it's doing over here. It's still sitting in a pit, but um, it, it doesn't look very stuck. I've got a feeling that um, the tractor's not going to be stuck anytime soon. Maybe we need to go somewhere else to get it stuck. Maybe it wasn't the fields that we were supposed to go in. Maybe it was something else. I'm not sure. We'll we'll work on that. We'll see what happens with that. So let's have a look. Oh, we, now we've got some quests. Now it's, we've got transport, fix a building, and fix a bit. Oh, we've got two fixed building quests. We will go and do some fixer building quests. So let me jump over to this one so that we can run over to the bus shelter and then we will go up to the t it's north of the town. We'll do the two fixer building quests because those are the ones that seem to make us the most money. And of course, we definitely want to be uh, making money. We still want to be making money. We're not going to worry about milking cows every day just because it takes so long. Um, if there was an automated way to milk cows, we'd probably do that a bit more. Now, where were they? I think we want to go to that bus stop there. I think we do. We'll soon find out. There we go. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. We've got a fair way to go yet. Why do they have to put the quest so far away from the bus shelters? That one up there is fixed a bit. It's about as far away as you can get. That's because it's someone down here and he's gone for a wander. That's what it is. It's just, just to be difficult, they've, they've gone walkabout. Now, which way do I want to go? I want to go sort of this way-ish. What new machines have we got? We've got a big plow over here. Look at that plow right there. That is going to be so much faster. And the cultivator, and there's a, a topper there. There's not an actual proper mower, though. There's just a topper. There's not one that would mow for hay. I mean, I imagine that this game probably does use it for mowing for hay, but that's, that's the wrong sort of mower for mowing for hay. Um, unless it's something else. It could be something else. I could be completely wrong on this. That could be something else that they've got there. Now, is there any... I don't see any chests. If you see a chest, then let me know. Tell me, uh, if you if you see a chest at any point, and I miss it, um, tell me the time in the video, in the comments, comment the time in the video that I missed the chest, and then I'll be able to look, um, I can easily click and I can see exactly where it is. Right, so we got Lucas and Oliver over here, I'm guessing it's them over there, so we'll run around that side. Go on. Somebody has got to have, there it is, there is the fix the building quest. And there was a transport quest as well, but I don't think it was this one. So it's uh, you. You there. Christoph. Not now, sorry. What do you mean, not now? You have a quest. We'll talk later. No, we won't. We'll talk now. I'm busy. You're not busy. Hurry up. What's the good... Oh, there he goes. Right. Not now, sorry. There Hello we go. There. Right. Good morning. They do take a while to sort of... You, why can't you talk while uh, I'm looking for work? Got anything for me? Why can't you talk work. when you've got the fishing rod? Doesn't make any sense. Right. Need some care. What do you think? I think I could probably do it. How much? Uh, 300 euros. So it's probably Sounds one of the good. houses in town. I'll take care of this. Right. 300 euros is almost certain. Oh, no. It's this house right over here. And it's not going to cost us very much. Can we go through here? We can. Look at this. Sorted. Right. Uh, come over to that one. 300 euros. Have we already done this one? I don't know. Maybe we haven't. Maybe... Uh, there we go. Updated. Check map for objectives. We have already done this one. Come back over here. I'll go back around this way now. Over there. And if I speak to Christoph, he's got the fishing rod going. No, actually, what we should be able to do... He should just do that, and then... There we go. Quest, a, a quest completed. All done. All finished. Frank there is quite pleased to see me. Uh, well, now we need to go and find the next quest. So what I will do first is I will save this game.
Right, the game is saved, so if it does crash, nothing too bad is going to happen. Uh, we've got a transport quest somewhere around here, which I'm not actually worried about. And then over here by the lake, we should have another uh, fix the building quest. Where the building is that we're going to have to fix for this quest, I'm not quite sure, but uh, we will find out very soon. There he is. I reckon it's that guy who's running away. And he must have seen this coming. He reckons... I. Oh, no, hang on. No, he's over here now. He, he probably thinks that we're with the FBI. You know, this is all of all of the, the transport quests that go on around here. It wouldn't surprise me if he thinks that we're just with the FBI, and that's why he's legging it into the distance. Um, either that, or he's rushing off to confession. And... There, right, so I need to run this way. I really do think the priests in this town are going to be exceptionally busy. All these people keep running off to church. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure that the only reason they're all running off to church is because they're, they're racing off to, to um, confession. Um, because, uh, quite frankly, there, there seems to be a lot of suspect stuff. Why can't I pick up that mushroom? I had it there. And now it's not letting me. Pick mushroom. There we go. Now, uh, there's another mushroom there, which I can easily grab, but now I've probably lost the location of this person. I'm going to cut him off. I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to cut him off. We may even run into a, qu a, a quest, a chest, while we're running this way, which should be a free gift that we can give to Janet. And I'm hoping that Janet will soon decide that, you know, she'd like to spend the rest of her life with us because we've bought her lots of presents. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's how it works, isn't it? Is, is that how it works? You... you you pick out a girl and you say, right, I'm going to buy you lots and lots of presents and then you, you, you'll be my wife. It's easy. Anybody can do it. Right, let's come over here and there he is. He stopped running now. I realise that it's futile to run. Speak to me. Daniel. To talk? He's Good morning. I didn't even check if he had the quest. Uh, I'm looking for work. Here we go. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? Go the on. building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? I think if the price is right, I will do it. 340 euros. That's, that's not a very Sounds good price. Good. I'll take care of this. So our running around today so far is going to get us a grand total of uh, 640 euros. Which isn't very much at all. I'd like to have a bit more than that. But still, 640 euros is better than a kick in the teeth. So we will go over and we will grab it. Uh, we've got this field right here, which is wheat. This field here is... Oh, that's maize. Yes, of course it is. I can see it is now. A uh, hundred yards away. All we got to do is get to that barn, and it'll set... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, we, we've actually got to fix this barn. Um, 340 euros is all we're going to get for it as well. This, I, I feel like I've, um, I've made a bit of a mistake here. I, I, I shouldn't have done this. 340 euros to get this. All of this work. We, we got. There's a lot of work that he's doing on this shed. We, we're going to be here for a while, I think. There's a whole load that he's doing up on the roof as well. Oh well, next next time we come here, we will at least be able to uh, do this quickly. And we, we have noticed this with all of the repair quests. Have I already repaired some of this barn? I feel cheated that I'm having to do 340 euros. Um, you know... That's all I'm getting for all of this work. We've had like a thousand euros for doing this kind of work before. Uh, another one over there. And then there'll be another one on the end. And then we've got to chuck up a little bit of scaffolding so that we can get up onto the roof. I don't know if there's anything inside that we've got to do. There may be more indoors. Just to add extra work to our workload here. Go in there. Right, I'm looking around indoors. I don't actually see anything indoors. This is promising. It's very promising. And I can reach the roof from underneath down here. So we'll do the roof. We'll do this bit from underneath down here. I got that one there and that one there. There's not a lot of that piece of roof left. We got it. We got it. There we go. Right. Uh, I'm not going to be able to reach all the roofs, so I may as well not bother doing it like this. Uh, let me just run around in here and check if there's any chest. No, there are, there are no chests. Okay. We, we've done that bit. So let me come out here and I want to... No, I want to go like that. There. Put you up there. And you out there. And then I got that one. That one. That's the one that I want. And then I come over. Oh, there we go. I need to go up onto the next platform so then I can go onto the roof like this. And then we can start repairing. And a very quick repair job like this. Actually, this isn't going to take too long because we've only got a few pieces of the roof to do now. All the rest of it has already been done. 
Um, there's a few bits on the wall. So, really, we didn't have all that much work to do. So, I suppose it's, it's not too bad. As far as the different jobs have gone, this one was reasonably quick. And then I'm hoping that we'll be able to get repeats a few times and that'll get us a bit more money, which would all be good. There we go. Right, there's that last one there. And over this side, I got two over there. Uh, I don't know if we got any behind me. We'll soon find out. Let me just turn around a sec. There we go. Right, uh, I got two more over there to do as well. So, we've got four to do. Well, three to do now. Just do that bit there. We can do all, all the end. Looking nice. It's actually looking pretty good now. I mean, it looks a little bit odd that we've got some areas with the um, the felt on it, or tar paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, we've got some areas of the roof with felt over it, and some areas is just the wooden planks. Um, to be honest, if we were to do this job ourselves, we would actually put um, tar uh, felt over the entire lot. Right, there's Daniel over there. We're going to leave the bits of paper, the, the, the scaf sca bits of paper, the scaffolding. We're going to leave the scaffolding up on the end of the building just because it's going to make life a little bit easier for us. But Thank you. if we do have There's to come back, how much should we get? 340 euros and 680, 340 and 680 social points. Not bad. That gives us 65, almost 66,000 social points, which is pretty good. That is, that is getting closer to what we want, although I think we need about 90,000 social points, don't we? Something obscene like that. Right. Now, we've got a transport quest over there that we're not going to bother with. And all the way down there, we've got to fix the building quest. So we want to get to a bus stop. And the nearest bus stop to us would be Combine and then over to the bus stop. So I think what I might actually do is if I lift this one up a minute, um, hitch grain header. I've got to hitch them on like that. Uh, we'll drive this one over this way. And we're going to go... A little bit closer to the bus stop so that I can just jump to the combine and and then we can run straight over to the bus stop it's just as long as it's a little bit closer it's going to make our life considerably easier so I'm gonna put this one over here and um, because we use this is the bus stop that we use so if we got a vehicle next to the bus stop that'll work out quite nicely so we can park it right there I think it would be alright to park it there right next to it like that jump off jump off <laughs> Balanced. Beautifully. Look at that. And mushroom there we can grab. Is there anything else around here? I'm looking for strawberries in particular. I want strawberries. Okay. Uh, we want to go right down to the very bottom of the map now. As close to the bottom as we can get. So we, there's a yeah, there's a fix a building quest down there. I don't remember if we've done a fix a building quest down this way. Which way do we want to go? It's down there. It's the... I think we're actually fixing a building for the um, the main dealer in town. So th this could be a little bit suspect. I'm going this way just to see if there's a chest out on this side. I don't know if I've sort of walked out this way before. I've definitely walked up that hill more. But I don't know if I've walked down this way a bit. Trouble is, it's quite difficult to see when you're walking. If you're in a vehicle, you've got more of an aerial view. But, I mean, we've got some strawberries. Arriving at Old Man's Wharf. Okay. Uh, is there anything here? Hmm. Okay, well, that's distinctly disappointing. Ooh! Now, if I was to drive my tractor through that little patch there, would I get stuck? Maybe that's how you get stuck. Maybe you've got to go and find something like that to get stuck in. That would make sense. That, that would actually make quite a bit of sense. Grab that mushroom there. Uh, have I got anything else? Various bits of food and stuff. I think the, the fix a building quest is over that direction. Yes, it is. I'm going to keep going this way. Uh, it's there. There's still no chests, though. Maybe if we go down towards the coast, we can go from sort of those buildings there and head over towards the buildings to our right-hand side, but sort of going along the coast at the same time. There. Oh, yeah, I thought I seen a mushroom there. There's another one here. But do I see any chests along the shoreline? I don't think I do. I just see mushrooms everywhere. Lots and lots of mushrooms. I can't actually pick. Can I, I, I don't think I can crouch either. you got to wait. And, yeah, you got, you got to get over the mushroom. And, and there's a strawberry. And there's two mushrooms. Got those. Occasionally the mushrooms don't, uh, like the aim doesn't line up quite right for it. Uh, but I don't see any chest. No chest here at all. Now, where is the dude with his quest? He's got to be here somewhere. There he is! There he is! Are you really standing there to do your fishing? 
This guy is a little bit suspect. He's he's um he's the main dealer for town, so he's he's probably he's probably sampled some of his own wares. He, he does look like he sampled Aye. some of his own wares. He, just the way Good that his morning. head's sort of rolling around a bit. Um, it wouldn't surprise me. Right, I'm looking for work. Got anything I'm for me? I'm pretty sure work. we did a quest Got for him quite recently. For me? Go on. A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? I think that I'm hoping you're gonna. Seriously, 260 euros? It's getting worse. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. This is getting much, much worse. I'm hoping... 300 and... All the way over there? So now he's making us run. Although I think we did this one before. I think this is one that we did before. I'm sure of it. I'm absolutely positive that we have done a quest for this guy before. We'll soon find out. We can get all the way over there. We can do this quest. That's really... We're not going to really have much more time to do anything else. What we'll do is we'll go back home, we'll sleep the night, and we'll gather our eggs, and then we will go and we'll see Janet one last time. We will give her a gift, and we will pay her a compliment, and there is a floating umbrella. Okay. Um. Oh, no. Really? 200 euros, and I got a floating building as well. Right, I'm, I'm bitterly disappointed with this. this. This is a lot of work that I'm expected to do to earn my 200 euros. This, this whole this whole idea that I had about making quick money by getting installments and you know doing like an installment payment plan for these jobs is it's kind of backfiring now because no, nobody's paying me the installments they keep wrecking their buildings this may not have been the building that I repaired though this, this it, it's, it's very likely that this isn't the building that I've already repaired I got that one there that I'm repairing there we go so there's that bit done and then there's a oh, I see right it's double layer Got another bit up there, like that. But as soon as you, as soon as you get the first bit, you can actually just keep going with the repair. So it does work like that. We've got a piece there to do, and is that bit up there? Nope, that's that's all fine. There's one there that I got to do. There we go. Repair the window as well. Look at that. I'm actually able to put the glass back together as well. Miracles never cease. We've got some brick here that we got to reassemble. There's quite a lot of brick there that we've got to put back together. That's all. That's all done. That's good. And looking in here, there's nothing that needs doing there apart from this wall here. So we'll just take this wall here. We can brick that one back up. Double skin wall there, I noticed. As we were putting it together, I don't know if you noticed that. There was a double skin wall there. Uh, we've got a door. Not that door, that door. There's only one of them. There we go. And you up there, you've got a bit more to do. And then we've got to get up onto the roof because there's a few bits on the roof. I don't know if there's going to be anything indoors, so I don't think there is anything inside. We're going to do the roof first, and then we'll know whether there's any um, bits that we've missed inside. Right, there's that one done. I got that one up there to do. I'm building a whole window from scratch this time. Actually pouring glass out. Smelting the glass and pouring it out right there on site. We're that good at this job. We really are. Look at that. Like we got a, a, um, a glass oven there going to a blasting away, heating it all up as we work. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything out on this end. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is get scaffolding there. Put you up there, and then I want a piece on the end. Where are you? Seriously? All the way over there? All right, let's get rid of that one, like that. And then I want to go to that tool there. Climb up onto the roof. All the way round. Up we go. And... You, 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 why, why won't you let me repair you? What's going on? That's the repair tool. Engineers... Oh, he doesn't actually want me to repair the roof at all. Can I fall down through the roof? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Right, so I'm not repairing the roof. I'm just doing the inside bits. Which means that I'll probably have to do the roof another time. In there. Uh, this, oh, there we go. Stairs, upstairs. Now, what have we got? I've got... It's just this bit here. This surprises me. I genuinely thought that I would have to repair the entire building. But not having to repair the entire building does make this job just a teensy bit easier. Put that one up there. Quest complete. Ideal. Okay, so I actually wasted a bit of time trying to climb up onto the roof. But that's okay. We don't mind that. We, we, we can live with that one little mistake. Is there any chests around here? I don't think there is. Let me run back over to Dylan. There he is. Thank you. He's still doing Something his land fishing. Something for you. 200 euros. 
An absolute pittance. It's an insult, really, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, let's move back up here. So now we've got our grain header and machine is over here. Let's jump off of that one. And we can run back in here and we're going to go to sleep. That's it. That's all we're going to do. We'll go and check the greenhouse in the morning. I'm not going to sleep for a week. I'm just going to sleep for a day again. We're going to be doing this a lot. We're going to sort of... I want to keep doing this until we've earned ourselves a wife. We go through each day. We'll do things very quickly. We can do a couple of uh, repair jobs because those seem to be quite quick. We can gather some eggs because that's really quick. And most of the rest of it we don't need to worry about. So let's eat some eggs. There we go. And then we need to put some of this stuff in the pantry for when we have it. When Janet gets here, she's going to have her work cut out. She is. She is really going to have to... You know what? That's what we're doing. That's that's what all, all this buying stuff for Janet. It's actually just an investment. Um, you know, it's, it's just to basically say, look, here's here's some stuff. You can have some shiny things. but And then when she gets here, you say sort of, well, you, first of all, you've got to pay back all the shiny things that we've bought you. So get to work. Um, and, and that's how it works. I really must run this by my wife. I, I'll, I'll ask Sen Leia this a little bit later on. Um, although I may do it um, when she's got no... But nothing nearby that she can throw at me. Um, and maybe I'll put some sort of uh, protective shield between me and her as well. Just in case she actually lunges for me. Um, yeah, that, that might be the safer way to do it. If I'm about to suggest to her that she's um, she must be earning her keep. And, and that's how it works. Because she's supposed to do lots and lots of work. Um, and that's the only reason that I would be married to her. I'm going to need to make sure that I do say such things from a very, very safe distance. Long distance. Very <laughs> safe distance. I wouldn't recommend it. If, if you, you do have a young lady in your life, I really wouldn't recommend it. I suspect things would ed end badly. Right, we've got one transport quest there. And if I zoom in, there's still one quest there. Uh, we've got a plow the field quest over here, which I have no intention of doing. Somebody is off fishing again. What is with these people in there fishing? And then we've got one quest up here, which again is plow the field. I don't have a repair quest. That's another fishing one. All right, ignore that. We don't... Oops. No, we're still stuck in the ground. Except that it's not stuck. We haven't, been, we haven't got stuck yet. Sort of stuck. No, it's not stuck. It's not even a little bit stuck. So let's have a look here. Have we got any quests nearby? It doesn't look like we've got any other quests. We've only got two quests today. Or three quests. And none of them are any good to us. So let's jump out of the, the truck over this side and we'll run around and we'll find Janet. We'll give her another present. We've only got flowers to give her now because we've given her one of everything else. We might have to just give her lots more stuff. Oh, Janet! Here to talk. You want to get married yet? Good morning, friend. Friend? The amount... Ooh, hang on. What have we got? Uh, you're as beautiful as sunshine. Something I can help you with. Do you hear the latest news? Here, I brought this for you. Right. We'll, we'll, here, I brought this here, for you first. I brought this for you. Uh, let's give her the bouquet of roses. He says that it's a casual gift, but I, I think it's more than casual because it cost Thank us a fortune. So nice of you. The music is getting very loud now, isn't it? All right, let's talk Hello to her again. There. We won't give Hello, her another gift today. Closer. Well, I'm assuming come closer is a good thing. Uh, no, we can't give her more than one gift today by the look of it. Right, uh, you look so pretty. You look so pretty today. Is this going to so work? It's nice to hear. Thank you. I've just noticed that my audio recording seems to have gone very, very weird. Let me see if it's um, recording properly a second. Okay, if the audio has gone really strange, I apologize. It looks very peculiar to me at the moment. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. Uh, I'm just going to have to go on hope and prayer at this point, I think. Right, Hello let's speak there. to her again. And Good morning, friend. We got one more thing that we want to do. Here we go. And we've we've already done that. So is there something I can help you with? We'll try that. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I need a husband. No, not at the moment. Ugh. Okay. Apparently, she doesn't want to get married yet. Right. Uh. Thanks. I'll see you around. Thanks. I'll see you around. Right. So we have not been able to get married yet. We're going to... We, I'm, I'm not sure how many gifts we're going to have to give her before we're actually able to get married. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but anyway, that, that doesn't really matter. That's all we've got time for today. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. 
And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Next time, we will continue our quest to make Janet our wife. And we will also, you know, keep going with trying to earn money and stuff like that. Um, and see if we can't buy ourselves some bigger and better machinery, like some of those shiny tractors that are down over there. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.